Hi, it's Megan. I admit that I have kind of, I don't know, a strange fascination, um, love of uh, the brand Shuamura. And by the way, I have, this is the third time I'm trying to shoot this video. I've had a coughing fit from getting over my flu, so I apologize. Uh, I coughed up in my mouth and, and whatever else. But what I like about the brand is I think the packaging is gorgeous, um, very just unusual, consistent. The quality of the products across the line are usually amazing, and they're also consistent across the line. I rarely get a bad Shuamura product. Having said that, there are some that I don't like quite as much, and um, this is going to be one of those reviews. And the hard part with a brand like Shuamura, which, you know, they're expensive, is that I don't want to say we take for granted the idea that there's going to be that consistency, which they usually have across the line, but we have higher expectations. <coughs> I'm going to have to cough a couple times. I apologize, but like I said, I, uh, I keep trying to shoot this video. So this is the, from the spring 2015, the Metallic Bouquet Collection. This is the Pressed Eyeshadow Refill. And these are $35. There are three different versions of this. This one right here is the Platinum, what's it called? Platinum Plumeria, I think. Yeah, Platinum Plumeria. And it comes like this. It's got the pink, kind of the yellow, and then the white platinum. And I have it on my eyes. I've got the white platinum up here with the yellow <clears throat> on the inner part of my eye, and then I've got the pink on the outer part. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been trying to get rid of that, and I just can't. Um, and then I have a little bit of the, the, kind of the platinum, a little bit of the yellow, and a little bit of the pink. And you can see these are, they call them metallic eyeshadows, and they are. They say three metallic eyeshadows in a fireworks decoration and beautiful reflections to your eyes. And that is part of what I love about the brand, too. It's just, that's such a simple, elegant explanation. But it also is just a great amount of salesmanship, right? You don't really need to write a whole paragraph describing an eyeshadow palette. But to say, and beautiful reflections to your eyes, it's just, it brings some beautiful imagery. Now, beef number one. I knew this going in, so this is totally my fault, but it's a refill. So it just comes in a little plastic case, and you pop it open, and you get exactly that, a refill. Now, they don't on the site give you guidance as to which of their um, cases is going to fit with this. And the cases cost about $8. So you kind of have to figure it out, which isn't honestly that hard, but <coughs> when I bought it, I was in a hurry, and I just, I didn't want to do it. So this is what it looks like. So this is, I think it's upside down. So this one has the white, the yellow, and the pink. They also had one which had a white, a purple, and a blue, and one which had a white, a yellow, and a green. And I don't have the other two, but I'm assuming based on the names of the different palettes that the whites each had a different undertone. Now, I also read on another blog that this little overlay, this little firework pattern wears away as you use the eyeshadow. I haven't used the eyeshadow enough, and frankly, I've been avoiding the area with that little bit of silvery, shimmery bit, because it does change the color of the eyeshadow a little bit. It adds a little bit more white and shimmer. These are super shimmery. Um, when they say metallic, they mean metallic. And this is where, you know what, it's a nice palette. I really like how Shuamora does this kind of a white, and I'll swatch it here as well. But you can see, it doesn't really show up all that much, and it does have, I don't want to say chunks of glitter or that it applies unevenly, but it does have that really finely chunky kind of a look to it, if that makes sense. I don't know if you can see it. It's probably going to be more clear in the outdoor swatches of this palette when I did the um, little thing on my wrist. I like this shade. What I really like this shade for, honestly, where it's really beautiful, is if you just put it very carefully on the inner corner of your eye, I feel like it looks a little bit patchy in a bigger kind of application, like I have it under my eyebrows. It's a, it's a good shade, though, for this. And these types of shades, even though they're super metallic and um, a little bit glittery looking. There's a hummingbird right out sitting right outside my window. I just keep looking off to the side. It's really cute. Um, 
I feel like they really open up your eyes. Like when I put this on my eyes, it just kind of opens, brightens, but I don't know that it's a look for every day. And I actually have another shoe product on my lips. This is the Lock Supreme, like a locker, lacquer, probably Lac Supreme in 01 red. Um, but I had this shine without glitter, and then I had the shimmer bits with almost visible tiny, tiny micro glitter on my eyes. So I was looking around for a blush that was just completely matte. So it does put you in that kind of a position where if you're going to put a lot of shimmer on your eyes, we have to kind of balance out the rest of your face. The yellow. Yellow is a color I don't think we use in the United States that much. Oh, it applied really chunky, but I just blended it. So that's the pretty, the yellow. It's like a light butter, more cool but not super cool yellow. And it does have a fair amount of pigmentation, as you can see. But the thing with a lot of the shoe shadows, it's a softer formula and it's mostly consistent. Sometimes with these more shimmery metallic ones, I feel like it's a little bit less consistent. It's almost a little bit chunky in the application. But they're super soft and finely milled, so they do end up blending really beautifully. So you can see, it's just, it's a nice, and I could have built up the yellow a little bit more. I wanted it visible, but, um, but not showing up. And actually, honestly, my eyelids are really dry right now. I just, something irritated them. So I'm not putting extra things. <coughs> Excuse me like primers on them. And this is the pink. The pink is the least glittery, shimmery. I just got some yellow mixed in with it, so I'm going to fix that. It's a really pretty cool, like a strawberry, cotton candy kind of a pink. Again, these almost have a sheer look to them and that they're so metallic and so shimmery. But they're super pigmented except for the white. So this I have on the outer corner and then also right under my eyes a little bit. I really like this palette. I do. I think it's a very, very pretty palette. It definitely does what it is supposed to do. Opens up the eyes, adds a little bit of color, like a wash of color is a way of describing it. But I think that this palette isn't for everyone. And it is not inexpensive. Anyway, that's all I have to say, and I'll probably just like go into a coughing fit if I don't end this. I promise not to make too many videos where I'm coughing through it. It's just that there's no way that I can predict when I get these coughing fits, and they're almost done. I just wanted to get this up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please. Subscribe.